If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. All right, so a couple of big stories are happening this morning. Everybody's preparing for the big eclipse, the eclipse. Uh, you know, but we're not in totality. Uh. <laughs> that was the big comment. Well, people in Cape Girardeau, where we can be uh, heard, uh, will be in the path of totality, so they'll get to enjoy it. Um, so that's fun. But I did a poll on our social media yesterday. It was like 80% of people don't care about the eclipse. Yeah, Even though we're don't. getting like 80, I think that they said 80% coverage where we live. Yeah, this area was the epicenter of the last one. You know, the best place you yeah. can go to watch it. And I didn't care about it. It's going to be cool. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's going to happen. So you can't do anything about it. It's going to be like, oh, that's cool. It's dark outside. Yeah. So between two and four, they said you'll probably get the best viewing. But some people are very excited. The one surprising thing I think is a lot of schools are letting the kids out early or not e they're doing e-learning today because they're worried that it's happening during the pickup time and they don't want to be responsible for kids walking out of the school and looking up at the sun without okay. pretend you, is that a joke no that's real that's uh, legit uh, i don't know why i don't get it either but that's great i uh, mean that yeah. is too funny meredith's uh teaching um their recess is at that time and she's afraid they're not going to let them have recess <laughs> i mean <laughs> I guess I don't I, maybe there's good logic behind it that just seems out of control they don't want to be responsible for kids looking at the sun at the eclipse yeah I, I remember there was an eclipse when I was in uh, elementary, elementary school, school yeah and they didn't stop us from doing anything they just said uh, they may handed out glasses to look at it for you know if you wanted to look at it we did some but kind of weird thing where they we went outside and they I don't remember how we did but they taught us that we you had to, yeah. did some kind of a design thing I don't remember what it was and then you looked you turned your back to the sun and held it up and you could see the eclipse on the cardboard or something yeah. I don't know how that am I, I right yeah. in that it was something yeah, like they that. did it as a, a learning a project yeah. yeah 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 I remember we that. went outside specifically to look at it to see yeah. it I, I thought that was a joke but it's not a joke and that they're actually doing that so well, kids these uh, days are dumber for sure uh, maybe maybe that's what it is there you go old man <laughs> kids, kids these days, days. Kids these days. you just literally said the words kids these I days i did uh -huh. <laughs> Empowering 38 what are you doing uh, so the uh, eclipse day is the, one of the top trending topics uh followed by roman that's a reference to wrestlemania uh -huh. that happened over the weekend big wrestlemania weekend uh, I don't know if you want all the details. I, I got them if you want them. I'm, I'm sure somebody in this room does. <laughs> Who would know? I do. Yeah. Uh, so Roman Reigns is trending. Yeah, he's, he didn't win last night. Cody finished the story. He finished the story. He finished he's also the story. trending. He finished the story. <laughs> yeah, my son was all into it. I woke up this morning to a text from your son. <laughs> 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 we were texting Saturday night. I woke up this morning. Let's send a text. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. Not your child. I don't know. Um, Twenty three and Me is coming today. I, I just <laughs> ancestry, whatever. Very surprising. Oh, and then uh, the South Carolina Gamecocks, a women's team, basketball, won the championship over the weekend. So a lot of people are still discussing that men's uh, championship, men's uh, tournament ends tonight. Late game, I think. 920 Eastern is that is what the it is? Yeah. 920. I mean, that's ridiculous, but I understand. Uh, and those are a few things that are now trending. All right. Uh, something happened in Japan. Jimmy Kimmel says that we all need to be more like Japan. Well, uh, I have a story that's going to show if we are like Japan, then we are preverts. <laughs> uh -oh. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do, get your money four days later, pay off credit cards, do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies.
This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. <laughs> so we've been on vacation and uh, I haven't kept up with things minute to minute news wise and all of that, but I couldn't escape the fact that uh, that idiot Jimmy Kimmel went on a rant about how much better Japan is than the United States and that the United States is dirty, filthy, and we need to be more like Japan. Um, then I find this story that the Metropolitan Police Department has arrested a 56-year-old man uh, in Tokyo, um, and he wasn't out there being super clean and all. He was being, uh, it seems, completely, totally filthy and nasty and disgusting uh, because he had climbed up on top of, uh, uh, you've seen those water fountains out in parks and stuff that are that are made out of uh, rocks. They're little small rocks that are glued together yeah. and they stand up. Yeah. You know, he was up on top of one of those things, um, rubbing his buttocks against the water tap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Yeah, out in the park. Uh, now, in his defense, he said that he did check all around with binoculars to make sure that nobody could see him. Um, what? So then you see that and you think, okay, well, what was going on? Did, did, did he, had he, uh, had an accident or something he needed to clean up? Uh, he was like, uh, no, um, I did it to, uh, quote, satisfy sexual desire. <laughs> <laughs> End quote. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what happened was that they, they, um, had caught him for something else and they found the proof of what they were looking for on his phone um like an indecent exposure somebody said yeah. they saw him riding around with no pants on his bicycle or something and then uh when they just thumbed over to the left a little bit more they found the one of him in his you know up on the water fountain they've always got business. the proof on their own phone these days I remember that well, story the other that's, day. That's right. part of the deal. That's part of yeah, what what makes them happy. It's like, what are you doing? Delete that, man. Mm -hmm. If I see anybody with looking through binoculars in public, I'm suspicious. <laughs> like, what are you looking? <laughs> what are you out looking out of, at? That's yeah. a valid point. If you're not, yeah. if you're not, um, you know, in the woods or out in an open <laughs> field where you might be looking for something <laughs> out there, the, you're at the park. <laughs> no, 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 no. Something is, <laughs> yeah, something is up. If you're, standing, if you're standing on a street corner look, looking up uh -huh. through binoculars, something fishy, <laughs> something bad's happening. <laughs> Or out of a window. It doesn't matter what. Yeah. You yeah. Know, if you look up and somebody's looking out a window in the city with yeah. binoculars. He's respectful, though. He's like, I looked through the binoculars to make sure no one was yeah. around before I shoved the water spigot up. <laughs> <laughs> Betwixt. Before, before, I sat, before I sat on the spout. What is that? <laughs> Good Lord. Um, yeah, so... I don't know whether they'll start calling him the itsy bitsy spider in prison or whatever. <laughs> that's weird. Who even thinks of that? See, that's the interesting part to me. It always is. The mind that thinks, you know what? I bet that's very um, satisfying to do that. I'm going to come back when nobody's around. Yeah. Make sure I can get up there on that. Yeah, just <laughs> grind on for me to get. Ugh. Time for me to get up there. Holy credit where credit is due. It's a pretty good balancing act, though. Yeah, yeah. he's got to have mean, good quads. Have, <laughs> <laughs> nice, strong quads. Yeah. He yeah. does have to have strong quads. <laughs> All right, our Tech D Rob is uh, preparing for a big, big competition that he's going to be in out of town in a big city uh, this weekend. So we'll get the details on that and see how that's going for him next. It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't gonna treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were gonna be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do you know the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better if not 100%, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made.
do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. You know, I said, if you ever want to make national news, um, report to somebody whenever you find something that has been long lost. Like if you find a, a class ring from 1967 that yeah. somebody's lost, you know, go to the news when you find that because that, they'll pick it up all over the country and run it. Uh, if you find a lost dog that's way away from his or her home, then make sure you get the news because they'll put, pu- they'll put that front and center and this is one of those cases there was a dog named uh, Mishka 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 and um, Mishka wandered off in San Diego last year and just turned up more than 2,000 miles away in Detroit 2,000 miles 2,000 miles away in Detroit so the owners of Mishka flew to go pick Mishka up in Detroit, flew from San Diego to Detroit. Um, they say that they, uh, they put over a thousand miles, uh, with n- no luck when they were searching for her before, but never lost hope. That's awesome. So, wow. uh, but I'm trying to think about, you know, airline ticket costs and things of that nature in the year 2024 of our Lord and also in the year 2024 of a Biden administration, uh, and the prices are what they are. I don't know if I'm getting Mishka. <laughs> it's been a year. I probably already got another dog. If I if I could afford another dog, I would have gotten one. You can afford another dog for the flights that it would take for you and your significant other to fly to Detroit to go get Mishka. Yeah. <laughs> 2,000 miles is way too far to drive, too. Yeah, you I'm can't not, drive from San Diego you know, to Detroit. You don't drive that. You might have to let, no, you might have to let Mishka go. Hey, you guys y'all love it. Mishka. Y'all got a good home there. Okay, well, it's gonna cost you a thousand dollars to fly from San Diego to Detroit to yeah. get that dog. Yeah, and it's not like Mishka's gonna go. Why? Why, why didn't they want me back? She's not gonna know. Oh, she knows. She won't know. It's been a year. She hey, listen. If you trade oh. San Diego for Detroit, you want to go back to San Diego. <laughs> Trust me. But I think <laughs> as long as Mishka doesn't see the original owners, she's cool. You know what I mean? You know, if it's no, I don't think so. if it's me, I'm talking myself into the complete. You know, I'm saying she probably doesn't even won't even recognize us now. She's got a whole new life built. <laughs> it's only going to be selfish of us to go back into her life now after she's become accustomed yeah. to the ways of Detroit. And, and however I mean, she got can, to Detroit, she's tired. Yeah. So they want to drag her all the way back across Hasn't the country again. Hasn't she been through enough already? That dog goes from living on the beach to living on eight miles. It's like, <laughs> God, what happened? <laughs> what happened? I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> But it, it, I guess it, it, maybe if y'all would have clicked on, if I would have clicked the whole article, it would have said how she ended up in Detroit. But mm. I mean, that's really irrelevant at this point. She's in the Detroit, there in San Diego. So once again, we don't yeah. have an answer as to how that even happened. No, but still, okay. I just know that that I don't think it would be, you know, it, mm, wouldn't be in in the cards for me to go get her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the Ace and TJ Show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 so uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. 
Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So our buddy, Tech D. Rob, always, uh, always the one jumping out there to experience new things. I'm not being facetious when I say that he, he does experience new things, but they are, uh, they're, they're, um, nerdy things. And that's, uh, that's why we refer to him as a nerd from time to time. Uh, but he is a self, uh, described nerd. And what is this big competition that you've got coming up this weekend? Uh, it's a thing in Atlanta, uh, at, uh, some sort of convention center down there for a thing called SCG con, which is star city games. Um, Mostly known for their Magic the Gathering, but they're doing a Star Wars tournament this weekend. A Star Wars card game tournament. Right. Star, Star Wars Unlimited is the name of the game. Okay. So what is what is the what are all the, the preparations you have to make well, to be, be at your best? I got to do some play testing. I got to play with the deck that I intend to take to see if it's going to do well against other other decks in, in what they call the meta, which is uh, you know what what decks are using doing yeah. very well and stuff like that. So I have to. Uh, Everything's yeah. called the meta. Yeah, I have to adjust. And see okay, so you do, are all the cards different? Like, it's not just like one set of playing cards that all have the same. Not like a like, like a normal poker deck has no. the same cards in every deck. No, this is what they call a trading card game. So you can have three copies of any one card that's out there in your deck, and you have to make a fifty card deck out of this wide array of different um, uh. different things available. Well, isn't today National Trading Card for Adults Day? I did see that, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. I'm going to celebrate, y'all. So. I don't, I don't is understand it like picking anything lottery numbers, just though? Happened. You just, you, no, no. Don't you just have to like pick what you think is going to be? Well, I mean, there's no science to it, is it? Yeah, there, there's a lot of strategy involved. You have to decide, like, because the cards are, they do something in inside the game uh, to counteract whatever their cards are doing. It's, it's all like. Oh, uh, okay. It's kind, yeah. of, it's kind of more involved than than, than that. But can, I, yeah. can I ask a question? Because yeah. I, don't, I don't understand anything yeah. we've just said. So you have to know your what's in your deck to, to be able to counteract what's it, what the other person is playing? Well, yeah, it's and, not like a regular deck of cards where you just don't know what's coming next kind of thing. Yeah, and most of the time I would say that almost everybody's going to have different, like at least one or two different cards different in in their deck from whatever i would run so it's, it's about like you've played and you go well this card does really well so i'll keep this this one's not doing so well so i'll take it out okay so when you win do you just take their cards away from them no they used to do that with magic the gathering when it first came out and people didn't like that so oh. we don't like it <laughs> they called it the ante and people didn't like doing that okay well where does the trading come in uh because if like if you're missing a certain card and you have extras of a card you okay. can trade between each other to get the cards that you need Okay, I'd love to see that haggling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd wow. love to witness that. And it's in Atlanta, you said. Yeah. How many people will be there? Uh, in general, like the whole thing, because it's also doing magic, is probably, I don't know, a couple thousand, maybe five thousand. I don't know. A lot of people. Mm. It's huge. What? You just. <laughs> <laughs> you say it's going to stink, Regan? You, you, you just know it. It's, it's not only Star Wars, but the added bonus of having 800 Magic the Gathering players. Yeah, he's, he's not know, wrong. Hotel it's ballroom. Not you said it smell like uh, musty Doritos. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It is. This is the Ace and TJ Show. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture. Is good fitting. And good sitting. 
Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Purdue-UConn, that is the uh, national championship game for men's basketball uh, tonight. Late late start, nine. would you say 9 o'clock? 9.20 Eastern is tip-off. hate that for the kids that want to stay yeah. up. <laughs> but I know they got to figure it out. And then congratulations to the women's team from South Carolina. Undefeated season, right? Yep. Yeah, thirty-eight and zero, something very impressive. Yeah, they've won two of the last three women's national championships. Uh, I saw the coach of South Carolina uh, at the end of the game say, uh, "I just want to thank Caitlin Clark personally for what she's done to lift the entire sport, and she's going to bring the WNBA, the league, up uh, as well." So I thought that was kind yeah. of a magnanimous. She's, a, she's the best thing. women's basketball player of all time. Yeah, and you might as well just say it. And yeah, and she. All of the high ratings for the tournament and all this year and everything that comes as a result of her bringing them to the seats to begin with. Yeah, I'm very curious to see yeah. how that game did because, you know, they did, was it 12.3 million against LSU on, on Monday? Mm-hmm. So this is going to be great to see what they did yesterday. Yeah, it's so men's game tonight if you want to watch. But again, as they said, late start for yeah. the game. You know, Caitlin, even though they didn't win the national championship, what a what a great story of someone beating all the odds, you know, just tearing it up the greatest ever yeah super impressive Mm -hmm. um you probably didn't win the powerball somebody in portland won over the weekend gross that's worse than california (laughs) 1.3 billion dollars sold uh to somebody in oregon so they are probably you're gonna go into work the first first week back you're gonna go back in just business as usual keep it low-key just more excited 651 million dollars i think was the lump sum that you get oh my god Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, the eclipse happens this afternoon between two and four, depending on where you live. Um, now, the path of totality runs through the through the Midwest. So um, we've got some listeners in Cape Girardeau that are very excited. Uh, but here where we live, they said it's going to be like an 80 percent coverage situation. But a lot of people don't care about it. A lot of people will say, well, we saw the, the one in 2017. I, so, I found out that an eclipse happens every like year and a half somewhere. That's the thing, though. It's because it it seems like it just happened here. Yeah. So I get it. People aren't as excited because we were just in the path of totality a few years ago. So it's like, oh, no, big deal. we've seen it better Yeah. already. Mm, you know, I, the next one is in, is in 2045. Yeah. I saw yesterday there was a, a clip circulating around on social media uh, from a news clip from 1979 where they're talking about predicting. Uh, the next one uh, happens yeah. in... in you know, 2024, and people are like, 2024? I can't even imagine It's the that. future. Yeah. yeah. I was in the fourth grade in 1979. Really? Mm-hmm. And that's when you guys saw the, the eclipse? Yeah. 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 It's wonderful. And then uh, Conan O'Brien set to return for the first time to The Tonight Show tomorrow night since, uh, you know, since he was fired by NBC back in, what was that, 2010? When he took over for Jay Leno, and it was it was a very bitter separation. But he's returning. Jimmy Fallon now hosts the show, so it'll be interesting to hear if he has anything nasty to say about. NBC. I'm sure he'll, he'll have a couple of really good jokes. I like Conan O'Brien a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and his his podcast where he interviews other celebrities is very very good. Yeah, very funny. So a lot of people what are excited get, for that. Fifty seven million dollars to go away. I think they yeah. paid him. I think they paid him. Had to pay him out fifty-seven million. Something absurd to not have to yeah. work anymore. It sounds awesome, doesn't it? Uh, and those are a few things that are now trending. There is something that is happening in my home. Oh God, my wife is into conspiracy theories, and thanks to Cat Williams, th- this there's one that will not go away. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, coming up. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're again going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help because Calitrin is not a drug. 
No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Available when you want it you want it this is the ace and tj podcast and radio show so cat williams was on what has it been about a month or so six weeks or so ago the cat williams was on uh the yeah. shannon sharp club Shay Shay Shay. podcast and it's gotten hundreds of millions of views and the whole world's gone crazy and um, club Shay Shay. so there was that mm-hmm. and then there's the fact that my wife is loves a good conspiracy theory and is all into missing persons uh, uh, podcasts and stories and researching them and going on and on and on and all that kind of stuff. So you take all those factors combined. Um, Over the weekend, I'm watching basketball. And while watching basketball, there's a commercial. I think I thought it was for Kia. It might be for Mercedes, Mercedes Benz. But when the commercial comes on, it's ludicrous Get Back is the song that plays during the commercial. I think it's Nissan. Yeah, Nissan, okay. There's a 60 second, there are a couple of 60 second versions of the commercial and a couple of 30 second versions of the commercial. I think there are two separate commercials, a 60 and a 30 of each. So you're getting a lot of them. Now, you're not getting them as much as she thinks. She seems like it's every break. It's the, you tell me that's not the Illuminati. Because Cat Williams said that Ludacris is a part of the Illuminati. And now <laughs> she has decided, so this doesn't stop. Every time it comes to she'll be in the other room and I'll hear her yell, I, what is that? Again, again. I'm like, Amanda, like, ease up. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> calm down. Uh, and she swears that she's convinced that the Illuminati is promoting whatever this car is so they can get Ludacris's music back out there again somehow it's all tied together i don't really understand it. <laughs> well it ran so often because they are an official sponsor of the tournament and they're, which is yeah. the only car commercial that can air mm-hmm. they even at the stadium all of the cup holders at the stadium in glendale arizona it's uh, uh say ford on the cup holders they had to go to every seat i saw with duct tape and cover the word ford on the seat, on, on the cup holders, on the seats. That's 72,000 pieces of duct tape to cover the Ford. And she's like, it's, I'm telling you, it's Illuminati conspiracy. I'm like, it's not. <laughs> They're the official car sponsor <laughs> of the yeah. NCAA tournament. Why did they choose Ludacris's song? Yeah. Exactly. The Illuminati forced to... Nissan to play Get Back yeah. by Ludacris in their commercial. <laughs> She's figured it out. This is Cracker this code. is yeah, and it's and they're involved in the men's and the women's tournament. It was it was both tournaments. It's oh, a lot. Yeah. It's a lot to have to take in at one time. I'm just trying to watch everybody's watching. That's what I'm everybody's just, watching. I'm just trying to watch a little basketball, man. Put <laughs> <laughs> it with this constantly. So if you watch the game tonight, just be aware. Every time that comes on, it's the <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Yeah. Every. <laughs> Every time it comes on. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Uh, we just discovered a little controversy behind the scenes here uh, between uh, Techni Rob and myself and, and versus Riggins. All as the, trying to decide uh, what's hot and what's not hot. Uh, coming up next. Hang on. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that 
cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense. It makes life much easier. Go to homewithrichard.com to start the process. A lot of options with Richard Ducato. Don't miss this opportunity. Homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you. A proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. My entire weekend was basketball and WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a big professional wrestling fan. So Saturday night and Sunday night were WrestleMania and and there was basketball intertwined in all of that stuff. Um, But uh, one of the premier the biggest uh female professional wrestler at the time her name is is Rhea Ripley now Rob be fair you think she's sexy as well uh, yeah okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to throw you <laughs> he's like oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of who, who yes yes yeah. <laughs> and Riggins thinks we are uh like psychotic for things. No. she's kind of gothic and yeah but and, and it's a thing but she's I think she's very sexy yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. you admit then that you find her sexy as well? Sure. Oh, I thought oh. you were making fun a minute ago. You were like, she looks like a dude. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> no. That is what you just said. <laughs> no, I did not. I think she's Rhea Ripley, the woman from WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah, she's very hot. But my son, if it makes you feel better, yeah. my son was saying that to me the other day. Like, can you believe Ace thinks this girl's hot? Yeah, I do. I think she's... There's but something my, about her. But my son's, like, he likes Asian girls, so he likes them, you know, smaller. Uh, isn't there a team of Asian wrestlers? There is, yeah. He likes them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's not really attracted to the big muscly women. Yeah. Well, she, I mean, she's not super huge and muscle. She's very gothic, and, like, she painted her face up last night with, you know, sure. red paint around her eyes and all that kind of stuff. And mm. there's a she, hardcore metal band that brings her out on the stage. It's pretty wild. Yeah, they were not very good. Mm. I'll say that. She's okay. a sturdy woman. If she's not all muscled up at this stage in her life, she's a she's solid. Yeah, no, she, that's a good way to. Yeah, yeah. But I, okay. But I, I Riggins, I really thought you didn't find her attractive at all. <laughs> no, her and um, Becky Lynch. Super yeah, I can hot. see the that. Man. Yeah. yeah, that's what they no. call her. Oh yeah. Well then, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It is a little confusing. She's it is a, very a, confusing. A, a, I don't a, like a, it. A female who's referred to as the man, <laughs> but but I think it kind of works. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, and, and I don't watch wrestling enough to know who is. I've, I did see that woman though, and yeah, I, I think she could be hot if she weren't, you know, dressing up in a clown suit every every day for work. <laughs> 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 In a clown suit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they put on the costumes and the whole thing. I mean, she doesn't, she's not wearing that, you know, down down to the farmer's market. No, you're right. No, you know? no. And I, but I, I, there are pictures of her, like, in regular clothes, and she's even, she's more attractive, you're yeah. right, in, in, in her regular, like, jeans and a T-shirt than she right. is in her, in her quote-unquote, work outfit. <laughs> Those I, pleather leggings. <laughs> And boots. <laughs> well, I don't know. Those pleather leggings are working for me. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Oh, there is a question that has, has come up online from a wedding. And I think this is going to be one of those questions that the answer depends on how old you are. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. 
do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. There are things you do when you have a wedding that are traditional, but um, I guess those things can change as times change. What do you think about this? I saw this online over the weekend. I just received a thank you card from a recent wedding and the thank you message was typed out with a generic, thank you for Mm -hmm. your generosity and coming to our wedding, blah, blah, blah. Love the newlyweds. (laughs) And this person says, this isn't the first thank you card I've received typed out like this. Is this the new normal? In quotes. Call me traditional, but doesn't that seem impersonal or ungrateful? Or is that just what people do now? Mm. So that could have just been printed out. Anybody could just go buy a bunch of those and then just yeah. sit down and, and and put the address on it and send them out. No big deal. So it's just the thank you cards, not not the invitation or was it the invitation? No, it's the thank you card. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, just a thank you. Again, it says, thank mm-hmm. you for your generosity and coming to our wedding. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the best thing. It's like, it's not nothing, but it's not as personal as writing a, a thank you card. I've, who, I've never even heard of somebody doing that. I, I haven't no. either. That was the first time I'd heard of it. That's why they were saying that's what's okay and not okay. Yeah, that's a little that's a little tasteless. Somebody took yeah, time but, out of their day or whatever to come to your wedding and to give you a probably yeah. a nice gift. The least you could do is write them a little Something. handwritten thank you note. But it is another, you know, albeit a small shot you know, at tearing down American traditions. Like yeah. any way possible that you can find is the trend now to be tearing down American traditions. And, and yeah. Even though that's a small one. It's a small one, but it's a thing. It's mm-hmm. something. And yeah. I get it. Writing thank you notes is, Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. But, and again, you get married, probably you have a bunch of people that come, you're going to have to write quite a few of them. But that's what you do because you want to show yeah. your appreciation mm-hmm. to somebody for, for taking the time out. To, I just yeah. thought it was kind of crass. Yeah. I'd almost rather not get anything. Then like no need for a thank you note. Yeah. Just don't yeah. Just, send, just don't send me one you bought from somewhere that just says, you know, thanks for coming to our wedding and for your generosity, the newlyweds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like if back in the old days when you would send away and ask your favorite celebrity for an autograph picture and you get it back and just have a stamp of their autograph on it, you know. It's not really personal. Somebody else did it probably yeah. and just generic. Yeah, that's not cool. Not that I ever did that. But I was going to ask because I never did that. I was what, did, I knew did some you, kids that would do that. Yeah, I never heard of that. And mm-hmm. you just get a picture back. That's just, it's just stamp. sometimes they would sign them. Yeah, you know. Then sometimes they would just be a stamp. Well, or sometimes somebody would sign. Yeah, them. yeah. you <laughs> yeah, got a signature yeah. back. Have Probably a signature, not yeah. from the celebrity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Riggins and now trending coming up next. It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. 
Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Everybody's focused on the eclipse today that's happening this afternoon between 2 and 4, depending on where you live. Where we live, they said it's going to be an 80% coverage event. You better not focus on it too hard. You'll end up blind. <laughs> Has there been a documented case of somebody going blind from staring yeah, at an eclipse? It, no. it can happen. It's um, possible. Yeah, it is possible. Um, there's a reason they tell you not to look at it because it could it could harm your eyesight. Okay. Apparently, the uh, forecaster in our area, Brad Panovich, said that it, it just won't do anything to you. It's yeah. just like oh, really? I mean, he said it's oh. just like looking at the sun. Well, then there you go. Because uh, now my wife will know what to do. Because right. Brad Panovich says it. I mean, he's long. the guy. I, we can yeah. be in the car going off to visit people while we were on vacation. Um, every few minutes, I would just hear Brad Panovich's voice come on. <laughs> <laughs> just like, what are in. you doing? Just seeing. I'm seeing what the weather is for where we're going. Weather, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Staying up to date. I like that. Somebody who's informed. Yeah, yeah but he could switch topics. Heck, he could come on on his Instagram or something and start talking about what you should do. You know, like as a you know as a hairstylist, he'd start giving out tips. She'd be down there. Miss Vicky be cutting her hair in a different way. <laughs> like Brad said, do this. The one thing they said to watch out today for. I thought this was interesting. In 2017, we had that eclipse. Car crashes were up 31 percent during the eclipse. I don't get that. It's people, well, because they say more people are outside driving, but people driving and trying to look up at the sun and all while they're driving, not paying attention. Good being, Lord. Being looky-loos. Yeah. Well, they even put it on the highway signs, like yeah. Eclipse today. I'm like, what does that have to but do? Why is that on the highway signs? Up 31% just during those little, that whatever, <laughs> hour and a half or so, of two hours of the of the actual eclipse. That's that crazy. remarkable. But if you saw it in 2017, why would you want to see it now? I mean, it's... Same it's thing. not going to do anything different. It's not like the the moon's going to start dancing. <laughs> you know. Oh, look at that moon! It's dancing. It's something new and fun, man. <laughs> a dancing moon. <laughs> it's going to pass and slowly go. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, I want to mention R.I.P. C.J. Snare. Did you see this? The lead singer of Firehouse. Yeah. No, I didn't see. It. Oh yeah, he died yesterday. Sixty-four years old. Oh, Cancer. And I sang in my wedding. I love that Firehouse song. He's not trending, but I felt like I had to mention him here on this show because I yeah. love and he's that local. song. He's from oh. the area. Oh, is he really? Yeah. And they can probably replace him in that hairband, but no one's no. going to sound yeah, like him. No, that, that guy's I, got a great, and still to this day, magnificent voice. I listened to that song yesterday. Yeah. I was just heartbroken. I Don't love, Trip Me Bad is the song that Regan's talking yeah, about, which I wasn't their it. biggest hit, but he loves that song. Lo- absolutely love it. That's a cool uh, name, though. CJ Snare. Exactly. My dad gave Ace and TJ an unbelievable compliment this week. I'll tell them what it is next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The Sweet Deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So we're, we're back from a little break, a little spring break, because we're in college. <laughs> and <laughs> I spent, I had nothing to do. So I spent some time with uh, my parents for a couple of days to the point where I stayed so long that the night before I left, my they kind of sat me down. They were like, well, listen, and they give me the whole speech. They go, stay as long as you want. However, I'm leaving. My dad goes, I'm leaving at 720 tomorrow morning to play in a golf tournament here at the course. And my mom 
chimes in from the kitchen. And I'm leaving at 1.30 to go learn how to play Mahjong. <laughs> I went, okay, I'll leave. And they were like, nope, you could stay as long as you want. I've got uh, chicken wings in the refrigerator. If you want to put those in the air fryer, your father's going to come up with some maps so you can take Riley on some long walks. I was like, it's, it's okay. I'll leave. They don't want to be accused <laughs> of sending me out early or, or telling me to leave. So they give me all these things I can do. But I, I, I'm not an idiot. I took the message. I said, I'll leave. Uh, but before I did leave, uh, my dad gave you guys, Ace and TJ, a very unusual compliment that you knocked me over with a feather. He goes, you know, the, the, he calls you the boys. How are the boys? How are the boys doing? Because he's significantly yeah. older than you mm -hmm. guys. How are the boys? And I said, they're fine. They're, you know, I give him an update on what you guys are up to. He goes, I tell you what. Ace and TJ, they wear fabulous hats. <laughs> <laughs> what? He goes, I, I watched the, I'm on the YouTube. I watched it on YouTube. I watched the show. They got great hats. So <laughs> is that right? <laughs> really? Okay. I bet, you know what? I bet they'll be appreciative of that. They, yeah. He likes your hats. He said you got good hats. So I was trying to think, you wear that Jet Fitness hat. Yeah. That's your friend Jenny's. Okay. Uh, um, the and the Hunger, Hunger Heroes. Heroes hats. Yeah. Ace wears yeah. the Ace and TJ hat from the Ace and TJ store a yeah. lot. I got a couple of those. Uh, LSU I've seen hat. I got a, a couple a, LSU hats, a yeah. Cubs hat. Cubs hat, Jet Fitness hat. Yeah. I have that Patriot hat I wear a lot. Then, then there's another one from um, H2 Public House that the camouflage oh, yeah. hat. Yeah. Got an all black yeah. one with the American flag on it. Yeah. That I like. So at that, uh, he didn't say he didn't say he really <laughs> enjoyed the show that much. Yeah. But he, he does like the, the hats. hats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, you we need what? to get him some hats. Will he wear it? He will absolutely wear it. He'll hat. wear a Richardson 112. Uh, what is that? What? It's his style of hat. Uh -huh. Most most hats with merch. He probably he probably would love that. But, uh -huh. yeah, no compliments about the show, but he loves so, the okay. go buy some more hats today, though. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world-famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show yeah, me about that, that refi. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers—they are blooming. And as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry. Does one ask a fish if it swims, or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So something kind of crazy happened while I was uh, visiting my parents over spring break. You know, they're at, they live in a retirement community and over Easter weekend, it was just spectacular. If you spend any time outside, it was like 78 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Just fantastic. So, you know, me and my mom are sitting out on the back porch for a second in some rocking chairs. And my dad comes around and he goes, I'm going to clean the golf cart and wash the car. I'm going to set you up some chairs. It's like, what is that? So and then he walks back to the front. And then five minutes later, he pops back around the back of the house. He goes, I got you set up in here. I'm like, what is he talking about? She goes, oh, yeah, he does that. When he washes the car, he sets me up a chair in the garage with the door open so I can sit there with him while he washes yeah. the car. Yeah, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. It is sweet, but it just, I went, what? So I we walk around, and now, mind you, this is, I've had probably, conservatively, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 12 beers 
I don't know. And then my mom asked for a glass of rosé. She doesn't even drink. She took one sip, didn't like it. I drank an entire bottle of rosé. Do I drink rosé? Hell no. But on Easter <laughs> Sunday, I drank an entire bottle of rosé. So I'm lit. And now we're sitting, and he, I walk around, and he's got two chairs sitting in the garage so we can watch, watch him wash the cars. So I'm like, oh, my God, this is just like retirement <laughs> life. <laughs> they just well, want to spend all their time with each other. It's not to watch him wash the car. It's so he can... They spend can time. Spend right, time right, right, they right. can communicate. Uh, understood. They can visit. Understood. So he washes the, their car, and then he goes, throw me your keys. I'm like, oh, my, you're going to do mine? Washes my car. I'm like, hell yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is great. Mm -hmm. So then all the neighbors start coming around, uh, and they're all in their 80s. One guy sits down, and my dad goes, get him a beer, bro. So I go run him a beer. He starts telling stories about the war in Vietnam. And then he uses a word I've never heard before. And I would tell you the word, but I found out later it was a racial slur. <laughs> it was a racial slur I'd never heard of. And then more neighbors come around. By the time we're done drinking in the parking lot, there's like 10 people in the driveway, along with another guy that was also in Vietnam, also used the same racial slur. Uh, and I had to find out what it was later. Um, and then I'm just lit. And it was like the greatest day ever. And then I've realized like, that's how parties happen in the yeah. retirement home. It's yeah. just like, uh -huh. Hey, there's somebody outside. Let's go find out what they're doing. And then drinking commences at like two mm -hmm. in the afternoon. And it was all over by like five. They, yeah, was they, done. They always say, you know, well, I don't have to work tomorrow. Yeah. It was it, whatever. It was awesome. It was awesome. So I can't wait to be retired. I got to get Ace and TJ's opinion about a story that's going viral coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So there's a, a trending story that's been bouncing around a lot of different websites and a lot of different social media platforms over the last week. I want to ask the guys a question about that in just a second. But first, my dad said the saddest thing to me uh, last week. He, he broke his driver, his golf driver, and he plays golf every day. And so he's going to get a new driver. And my mom goes, you know, he's very rough on things. <laughs> his mother always said that too and, and he overheard he got very upset but he broke his driver so he was in the market for a new driver picked up one it was six hundred dollars and the guy at the golf place uh said oh i got some good news and i got some bad news for you i said what's what's the uh what's the bad news he said i gotta order it i said well what's the good news he goes i can order it <laughs> so i gotta wait a couple days till i get my new driver but here's what he said he goes and you know what i realized i said uh, this is going to be my last driver i went oh that got all of a sudden really sad yeah because like he's in his late 60s he's like looking at it like this is my last driver i'll, I'll ever buy 
I'm like, yeah, well, unless it's true what mom said that yeah. you were rough on things. Yeah. How long did he have the last one? Before I don't he broke know, it? but it was kind of like this kind of I don't know self act, self realization. This realization yeah, that that's he's kind like, of a doomsday. It, it, I, you can get a new driver in ten years. You'll be in your late seventies playing he, golf. I know. It was he's a probably weird thing just to... using that as a reason to justify paying that much money for it. I think so. <laughs> oh, I didn't think. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. And yeah, what's funny is my mom texts me. She's like, uh, is, I'm in the market for a new laptop. I'm thinking about starting my cookbook that I've been wanting to write. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you, you're start. You're into a new laptop because Dad just bought a driver. Stop it! You don't need a laptop. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's so true, though. By the way, have you guys been following the story about the conjoined twins, Abby oh, yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, they're, one of them just got married. Yeah. And you know, they've been in the news for a decade. And apparently, the new husband doesn't, or the the sister that's not married doesn't care for the husband. Oh, yeah. My God. Those, Isn't those your things con- have always just fascinated me, yeah. you know. Isn't that the weirdest thing ever? I yeah. mean, so like, on their on their every marriage day she's with this friend, she, like sleeps next to him, up against him as a conjoined twin, and it doesn't like him. She's not on the the witnesses list for the you know for the uh, mm-hmm. marriage certificate, yeah. and there's the story out that she doesn't care for him, and has made comments in the past like, yeah, we have different tastes. It's like, oh my gosh, so you're in the marital bed on that night, like. I'm, I got like a bajillion questions about yeah, how yeah. that works. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like some of the most uh, famous uh, conjoined twins in the history of the world have a connection to North Carolina. Where we live. Do they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of them's a nurse, one of them's a teacher. But yeah, does she like have to put a bag on her head or anything? Like a you blindfold. Your, you a blindfold. blindfold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato. And uh, the Richard Takato companies, you like that, don't you? you well, know? it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> so uh, we tell you all about the Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day, get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up. Your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. 